Hello everyone, it's been quite a long time since I've posted, so I hope you come along on my new journey. Spirit has been working with me for quite some time to go ahead and really gain my own power. Thank you for everyone who has come along on After Healing 1111. I don't post that much on there, only when I'm led by Spirit. So lately Spirit's been telling me that there's a name change, that I am part of history, which is Artemis. Artemis is part of the constellation and the moon is what shines through me. So I'm in spiritual alignment and I'm coming into fruition with my partner. My partner is near me and I feel it. So right now, Artemis is the awakening sunflower. As we go through this new journey together, I hope you come along. The energy is crazy strong. There are so many twin flame and soulmates coming into union before December. And the energy is crazy and it is a pre-reading before tonight. I am away on business and I will not be able to post later tonight and I'm not sure about tomorrow or the next day. But I'm glad that you're here right now. So let's get into the reading. First, I'm gonna meditate. If you could count backwards. We got three, we got two, we got one. Ready, make a wish for the new manifestation. Love and light, spirit angels from up above, spirit come in, clear what's old, cleanse our souls, bring forth the new. May this new blue moon be a manifesting guru. That all of the light workers and all the people who are drawn to my channel for healing from a narcissist or learning to self-love come forward. Use your guidance. Use my mouth as a mouthpiece, my eyes to see and my ears to hear what you need me to hear. Raphael, Michael, Gabrielle, my soul angels, assume, come in. Anyone that needs to come into the reading for clearing and cleansing as the blue moon is manifesting brand new beginnings. You've done the work, congratulations. Move forward with your chakras and alignment and balance and find your true identity. Spirit be as one as we manifest through the blue moon. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing on my channel. Be with one with spirit. Namaste. Take a deep breath out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two, 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 it's partnership time. So if you are waiting for your twin flame like me, I know they're here. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let's do this. I got like 35 minutes before I leave. Okay, spirits, angels from up above, clearly cleanse this deck. Father God from up above, be with me as a conduit as I cross from one area to the next. That whatever you need me to show, whoever is watching this reading, please be complete and precise. Thank you for stopping by. I'm so used to seeing Outdoor Healing 1111, Artemis, the Awakened Sunflower. You are looking for a firm foundation, right? It's your chakra. It's in full alignment. There's a pain in your spine or someone is walking into the element of fire. Finally, this man or woman, doesn't matter the energy, it is your energy, is walking through the mountain. You are doing the self healing work. This person has worked on their outer, maybe you worked on your inner, but what it is saying here in the other cards that were pulled, it's balance. Twin flame journey, right? It is a spirit on the wings of love being circled by divinity, keeping you completely intact. Your sword is down, so you're receptive for your heart to open up. Wow. Alliances, partnership, the moment you've been waiting for. The foundation, the stability, someone to reach out and show you how much you mean or what your achievements are. This is your big moment. Like Whitney Houston said, one moment in time. This is your time, time to shine. So we have, wow, two, three, and four, process, leveling up, moving forward on your spiritual journey. Give me a card for the divine masculine energy for whomever is watching this reading. It is general. When you see it is when it resonates, but it is for the blue moon. It's powerful. It's strong. It's years of making the wrong decisions over and over and finally knowing your value and your worth. Level up. There's nothing back there. No temptation back there. Spirit's throwing a curveball. What's your temptation? See in this card, the guy's hurting in the front. He's feeling it. It's divine masculine energy. They're feeling your light. You're coming at a hermit female. You're coming and rising like the phoenix. You are rising to the occasion. You are fueling your fire. You're completely balanced. You don't see it coming. They didn't see it coming. They did not see the partnership. Nope, finally awoke. This is also my magician card, right? Having all of the elements in your life to manifest abundance. 
but they're pushing it away. I don't want the temptation anymore. I don't want it. I'm growing stronger. I'm one with spirit. I'm grounding my energy. When we do that, we take over, right? We take over here. No more temptation, but there is somebody there that holds a key to your heart. It's time to let them go. I think that we all try to hold on comfortability. I thought I was holding on to my swim flame for the longest time, but it was my karmic partner because nobody put you out through those trials and tribulations if they love you. Trust me, when you acknowledge and you grow and you ask for forgiveness, you level up. This is wish fulfillment. This is something, right? On the other side of the mountain that's coming into fruition. Half of eight is four, that's two, right? Partnership, divinity. You don't see this person coming. This person hurt on the outside to fight off what wasn't good for them. And now spirit is doing something, something in the lower back. Grounding, making you stronger, building a firm foundation, right? Not taking life for granted. We have eight, we have four, we have 11, we have 15, and we have three. Give me the divine feminine energy here, spirit. Divine feminine energy. Does the divine feminine know it's a waiting game? Holy shit, I can't make this up. Spiritual unity, that is the heart chakra. Blown open. It's been a waiting game. Circling it, going through it, getting ready to speak up, going head to head. This is a very competitive couple. Leveling up, this is powerful. This is intuitive, it's insightful. It's that partnership, aligning with the right people. Prosperity, purple is prosperity. Green is your heart chakra. Purple is your throat chakra. No, you're knowing now. This person is aware, fully aware. I always get blue and purple messed up, right? Purple is knowing intuitively, knowing you're the person, reaching out, the touch, and embrace. I had a really bad headache. My crown chakra is going bananas today. I'm gonna slip mom up early. Two, two, two. Well, two, two at the moment. I'm sure the other one's gonna pop up. And the wish fulfillment. Wishing on a star. Wishing on a star, no matter where you are. Wow. I couldn't make that one up. Both the cards came out at the same time. Spiritual union and the waiting game. Crossing over to the partnership. Finally, they are pushing away what no longer serves them. They are clearing up their karmic cycle. They're saying no to temptation. Hope, that's that light. That's that light I showed you. That's that internal light that they know. There's something different about you. Powerful. It's in your hands. Spirit gave it to you. It's in your hands. Reach out and let them know. I mean, you know, they may not believe you, but the union is coming in and it's hardcore. Hardcore. I can't make this up the light of the world. You are doing something amazing with the next purpose in your journey in life. One in nine is 10 is completing a cycle, a very difficult cycle where you kept reaching out for spirit to enlighten you, to know that the value and worth is what you wanted for this partnership and unity. And here it is. You and spirit in perfect alignment. It is a guidance from the divinity. Spiritual journey. That's been a long one. Going in circles, a vicious cycle. All I know is plant your roots really firm and really manifested soil, right? You can't plant in hard, overgrown, rough ground and gravel. You have to really dig up that soil and plant that seed. And I would like to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, your seed is coming in. My head hurts so bad. My eyes hurt, but I wanna cry. New beginnings. Go for it. Walk right into your brand new life. People do not realize you anymore. They just don't. You are, the world is yours. You were the pearl and the oyster. Let me do something real quick, sorry. Oh, I can't do it. Hold on. Yeah. I wanted to capture that moment. So when you write down below the comments that your life person came in, maybe it's in regards to work, I have no idea, but obviously something here has been exchanged. The two and two, four, two and two is four. Could be an emperor, could be an Aries, could be a Pisces, but they're surrounded by the light, right? This light in unity, unity 
Unity brings it in. You and your person. That's that knowing. That's that walking forward, standing by side, side by side with your emperor, someone who's just as powerful manifester as you are, taking the opportunity. The world is yours. They see it. They've seen you level up. You are definitely a warrior, whoever you are. You're wearing green. Hair looks fabulous. They can feel it. Oh, that's confirmation. I just got chills in my neck. Your angels are here with us. Someone's watching. You've been waiting a long time. Just when you thought your person was kind of going to come back, bang, the spirit sent you the person that really is worth you. I can't make this shit up. Rejoice and celebration. Someone is bringing this partnership into unity. Right? It's usually the yin and the yang, but sometimes there's a conduit in the middle. I am your conduit to let you know that it's coming in. Your life and wish fulfillment, right? Celebration is three. It's the trilogy. It's working into that partnership, working on a strong foundation. 11, 11. I mean, I can't make this shit up. Two threes, rejoice in celebration, partnership and alliances. We have two twos, two threes, and the emperor showing up with the full card. That is two huge major arcanas and the karmic is being pushed away. Wisdom, guidance, it's time to level up, ladies and gentlemen. Someone is intuitively, the letter of their name could be F, could be the sun, Leo, could have meant them in May. Something is moving here. All right, spirit, let's get a little, I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. I mean, the lover's card was there. You have, um, you know, the full card there, but let's just get a little recognition here with my Kipper deck. Let's get some verification. I mean, this is a lot stronger than the other deck. Spirit guides, angels from up. Show me, show me, show me love. Let's go ahead and give the watcher, cross watcher, some confirmation. Manifest in the blue moon. Blue, 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 go blue. My eyes are blue. Journey, they're coming. Don't stop believing. 12, 12, hold on to the bid. It's someone you least expected coming on a train. Georgia, oh Georgia. Leaving on the midnight train, going anywhere. They got their bags packed and they're headed. This is requainted love. Message of concern, could be a trickster. So between the 10th and the 14th of September, we have travel, a message of concern. Could just be maybe you met this person and they got cold feet, right? Just hold on though, be patient. Could be regarding a job. Could be, you know, somebody in the family could just be sick. It's not a major issue, but it is a message of concern. Final outcome for this, for the Kipper deck. Spirit, do you have any more for my watchers and cross watchers? Anything on the Kipper deck? Anything on the Kipper deck? Anything? All right, Spirit, playing games. Anything on the Kipper deck? Anything? Whoa, okay, that's a flyer. The main female, you're the one. Two. Two, 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 confirmation. You are the main female. Female could be feminine energy, but you are the person, right? The other person is what I just heard, got a message that they're no longer needed. Unfortunately, there was a third party situation here. 1331, right? One partnership in alignment, alignment and partnership going out the door. Not everybody see, was seeing eye to eye here, but someone is coming forward, letting someone go. Either they're not showing up or they're not, going to move forward with the old thing. They're gonna let it go, but the main female shows up. Their person shows up with the rose. Every rose has its thorn. Every night has its dawn. Spirit, anything else? Anything else? Anything else for my watchers? Nope, main female. Let's get some clarification here. Okay, Spirit, I have my Monopoly confirmation here. I didn't want this to be long, but whew, this is heavy energy. I mean, I could barely sit down for like an hour. My head was spinning. Give me something. Give me something, Spirit. Give me hope for the Watcher. When is the train coming in? A date, a time, somewhere on the boardwalk. Nope. Heavy Burden's Garden. Balancing Act Avenue. Two Pentacles, Ten of Wands. Someone closing out a passionate cycle with someone that no longer serves its purpose, right? If we go through and have a relationship, this person is having a hard time letting go of the past, right? Ten of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Choice, Balancing Act. They're trying to figure out how to balance life and have you in it, two, two unity. They're used to being abundant by themselves and in partnerships, it didn't really work out well, well for them. Oh, okay. 
Okay, way to go after the tower with the person, right? The Empress, could be a Taurus. Commitment, stability, the ring, the main female. The main female, that female or masculine is you. You're worthy. Clarity, Spirit just said. Let's clear and cleanse this air out. What is really coming in from the divine? We need to feel it. Clarification why they walked away in the past. Better things ahead way. So who you were holding on to, if this is a masculine, it's not your person. Who we thought it was is not your person. Someone who showed up out of the blue didn't see this one coming. But it's divinely guided. Feels like you've known them your whole life, right? Messenger of slow and steady. The Knight of Pentacles. Again, confirmation could be Taurus energy. Workaholic. Balancing the difference between love and money. Let's get some clarification here. Gotta leave. I'm leaving on a jet plane. Don't know when I'll be back. Oh, guess what's on the bottom of the deck before I pulled it out? Engagement card. This one was down in the cards. This was the engagement. Healing heart. Something from the past, either you or them are letting go. This is what's holding up this union. It's okay. It's in divine time. Whole healing from a heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships. So what I heard was is that you're so good to be true. I can't take my eyes off of you. It's, it's hard to believe. It's an engagement. It's a date you're getting. For love. Look at I can't make this up. I am so excited for whoever this is. Meeting someone new, dating, giving it back out their plan and set a date. Unconditional love, affliction, attention, attraction. <gasps> and Cupid's arrow. It's a waiting game. Go on my website. I was channeled for months about the clock. 10 after 10, quarter to two, 10 and two, Cupid's arrow. When you pull back that string and divine wants you to get hit by the love bug, the love bug at 1717 came in. Need takes time, cycles time to heal. Girl talk, calling your girls on the phone. Time with friends, moving on, being single, enjoying the moment, waiting for that date. Waiting for the opportunity is what gave you an opportunity with them to come in. This was an amazing reading. I mean, I don't even want to pick any more cards. That's how amazing it is. So what we'll do is I'll get one energy for the divine feminine and one for the masculine and what energies you are leveling in with my legendary ladies deck ladies show me where we're at show me what process okay lupon individuality you stand out we all stand out to our person it's like a magnet we're illuminating ourselves we are so vibrating like a light like the sun i mean the sun's not out here in new jersey but we're vibrating so high, it's like they don't even know what to do with themselves. Blue. You've got the sign to go your own way, even if it's not what's conventional or acceptable. Goddess Lu Han blesses you with gifts of talent and confidence to blaze your trail. Vietnamese, right? This is part of your life journey. Maybe when you met them, you were Vietnamese. Maybe you were living in that culture. You know, I'm seeing a lot of people decluttering, um, taking time on their own really in their own headspace and uh, really working on themselves. Give me a card for the divine masculine here. Since feminine's individuality, okay, let's do it this way. That stuff on my deck here. Come on, spirit, give me a card. Push through, give me a card for the masculine. Push through, push through for my divine masculine. Push through, push through, push through. Sorry, energy keeps moving me. Resurrection, death card, becoming whole, becoming brand new. This is your person. You be an individual and they know you. They're coming through the dark night of the soul, which is the resurrection. Coming back from rising of the ashes, right? We're getting into this Aquarius moon. It is insane. I had no energy for the last couple of days, but now I feel like I'm on fire. I'm an Aries fire. Taurus sun, Pisces. Oh no, Taurus moon, Pisces rising. Here we come. Pisces rising is some serious shit. Lock all your doors.
I'm coming through. All for you. I wish you all the love and light as you come through this transformation. I wish you a great journey ahead. Please like, share, and subscribe on YouTube. I now go as Artemis, the Awakened Sunflower. It is part of my spiritual journey. I am the one who will cross you over from dark to light. I'm shining in my element. Please come along with me on this new journey. I wish you all the love and light. 2020, here we go, 2021. It's your year, rise. Rise, ladies and gentlemen. Namaste, out, plant your roots.